And with us now is Cardinal Francis George, the Archbishop of Chicago. He was inside the conclave that elected Pope Francis. Good morning, Cardinal. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. You may call me Francis. Okay, Francis. Absolutely. <laughs> well, let me just say, I understand you were surprised that it ended up being Cardinal Bergoglio chosen as Pope. Well, somewhat surprised, yes, uh, but then there's logic within the, the movement of the conclave, and it suddenly becomes very clear. What surprised me more than the choice, because he's known as a very, very good bishop and uh, a friend of the poor, which is very important. Uh, I've said that for a long time. The next man must have a heart for the poor because they're the first in God's kingdom. But the choice of the name truly surprised me, yeah. and I was very pleased. When I went up to see him after, I, I said, me amo Francisco Tambien, Santo Padre. You know, my name is also Francis. And he, he knew. He, he joked. And it was it was very nice. I'm really deeply touched. Yes, it was a surprise for many people. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know the significance, what do you think he meant by choosing the name Francis, which you also share? Yes, uh, and he mentioned as soon as he chose it in the conclave, still speaking Latin, that it was in memory of St. Francis of Assisi, who's my patron saint. I was taught by Franciscan sisters in grade school. Mm -hmm. and they taught me to love St. Francis. Uh, but Francis is associated with the rebuilding of the church in a time of conflict and with uh, a, an identification with the poor and a reaching out to the world. He went to the Sultan at a time when there was a crusades going on and uh, tried to create peace. So he's a peacemaker, as Benedict said he was trying to be eight years ago, and he's concerned about identifying the church with the poor and uh, being a man truly faithful, mm -hmm. uh, Francis was very devoted to the priesthood and the Eucharist. Yes. And so is the new pope. I understand you have said a number of times, even to uh, the Chicago Tribune, you were surprised about this choice. And I just want to go back to that because many Americans may be wondering, was there an American in the running? Well, the, the names that you mentioned before the conclave were, were names that came up in discussion, yeah. And did get some significant votes. Uh, well, that's part of the uh, workings of the conclave. You don't want to be excommunicated, right? <laughs> no, you should know better than that. Those questions. What's the matter with you? I know you got your job, but I have mine. Well, you know, so. I know. I'm a reporter. We were just looking for some, some inside details. What happened after? Did you all get together after the Pope was chosen? Was there a celebration? Uh, well, there is the, the, the regular ritual. Once he says, I accept, the conclave is over, and, and he has the primacy in his hands. The church is complete in her structure. And there's a great sigh of relief. And then, of course, he surprised us with the name, which is not a Roman name, it's an Italian name. There's no other name in the list of popes like that. Then uh, we went up to, to thank him and to, for his accepting and to promise our prayers one by one. And then there's a great prayer of thanksgiving, the Te Deum Laudamus. Mm -hmm. Holy God, we praise thy name. We sing it in English. And uh, after that, uh, he hears the uh, words of Jesus to Peter. You are Peter on this rock of my church from the 16th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew. <laughs> then we all come out on that balcony and uh, Rome greets its bishop. Yes. And it was truly marvelous because it was dark. I expected to see a sea of umbrellas. But it said there were lights, mm -hmm. red, green, white lights throughout, throughout the crowd. It was beautiful. Cardinal, we saw you on the balcony and thank you for joining us this morning. You're very morning. welcome, Nora. Thank, thank you for inviting me.